Private equity, often seen as the enemy of business, buying companies in middle America, loading on a bunch of debt and slashing the workforce. But CNBC's Leslie Picker has a report on a deal with a much different outcome. Watch. In the otherwise sleepy town of Arthur, Illinois, a life-changing surprise for the hundreds of workers at the locally based garage door manufacturer, CHI. We do have some news to share. CHI is getting sold for $3 billion to steel manufacturer Nucor. But it's not just the company's private equity owners who are cashing out. So too are the truck drivers and factory workers and even the office manager, Rhonda Jameson. This was a great day for Rhonda. The payouts are a function of tenure and salary. Because Jameson is in her 18th year at CHI, she'll be bringing home 5.5 times her annual salary. Words cannot explain how my mind was going. It's just in a hundred directions. Employees received envelopes with their bonus details. On average, hourly workers received $175,000, with the most tenured earning more than $750,000. I'll feel great. The idea of giving rank-and-file workers equity grants in a sale is the brainchild of Pete Stavros of KKR, one of the nation's largest and oldest private equity firms. What initially got me interested in it was my father. So my dad was a construction worker for 45 years. Stavros said his father loved his job, but he couldn't create wealth on an hourly wage. So once the younger Stavros got into business school, he started studying the topic of employee ownership. And as he rose through the ranks of KKR, he started experimenting with it in the companies he invested in. Now the firm uses it in all of its buyouts. And we had good success, so it, it, it delivered great results for companies, great outcomes for workers. And it's not just the money, it's the fact that, as, I, as we said to everyone today, you earned it. I mean, this isn't charity, it's not a gift. They drove an unbelievable amount of productivity in the business. Stavros says Nucor will include their own profit-sharing model for CHI, and the employees we spoke with say they have no plans to take their money and run. I am all in with CHI, simple as that. They're going to have to wheel me out of here. And in the meantime, Jameson, who spends her days answering phones and ordering supplies, has big plans for her newfound money. Well, we're going to Disney. <laughs> um, well, I've got, I'm gonna pay off my house, I'm gonna pay off my cars, and we're gonna give a little bit to the church and help my kids a little bit. KKR first invested in CHI in 2015 and will make 10 times the equity invested on the deal, the firm's best return on a buyout since the 1980s. For Nucor, a takeover of CHI marks its biggest acquisition ever, but shares of the largest U.S. steelmaker did slip on the announcement yesterday. Guys? Really cool story. And by the way, Rhonda, I hope you have a great time. At, uh, at, at, did she say Disneyland or Disney World? <laughs> Either way, she, she's going to Disney, Leslie. But I think the intro said it all. And the reason that you did this awesome package and you're here with us now is because this is an unusual story. All right, you, you cover private equity. You think other firms are watching and listening? Maybe they're going to learn a little bit of something from this? Good PR is not, not, not the worst they thing are. in the world. Exactly. Well, they, they absolutely are. And actually, Pete Stavros, who we interviewed for that piece of KKR, started a nonprofit called Ownership Works. And he's actually gotten his fellow private equity peers on board and have commitments to have at least three portfolio companies by 2023 installing this model um, for future buyouts. So these are all the big private equity firms. Uh, Apollo is one of the, the signatories to this. Uh, Warburg Pincus, Silver Lake, TPG. I mean, the list goes on and on. Uh, as part of this kind of commitment to share in the wealth generation that we've seen, especially in recent years, from these buyouts where private equity has just been so um, lucrative. It's really nice to see that at least some of that is trickling down to the rank-and-file workers.